All right, welcome back to Sunrise. Denim Day is today, April 24th. And this morning we join millions of people across the world that will wear jeans with a purpose mm -hmm. to support survivors and educate themselves and others about the forms of sexual violence as we move to build awareness. So this morning we are joined by Deputy Deputy mm -hmm. Superintendent of Police, mm -hmm. the Deputy Denim, hello, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jacqueline Dillon, who is the JCF National Coordinator for Domestic Violence. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having oh, me. This is a tough topic. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you have to take a deep breath yeah. every time you talk about domestic violence and sexual violence. I'm glad you started there. What is the difference between domestic violence and sexual violence? Um, the major, I, I wouldn't even think about a difference mm. because in the context of domestic violence, you have sexual violence mm. and, and most, um, sexual violence cases happen in domestic violence setting. Mm. So it happens in the family, mm. cousin having sex with cousin, brother having sex with sister, the mothers having dated some men that they can't satisfy and the daughter's over to them. Mm. So you have it in that context, but then you have sexual violence in community context. And we often say that many persons who go through sexual violence really knows who the persons are. And that is one of the reasons why it becomes so difficult for many persons to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, generations ago, we, we often, it, it is a taboo in Jamaica to even talk about being a victim of sexual assault or sexual, any form of sexual violence. Mm -hmm. And so many persons don't want to talk about it mm -hmm. because it's traumatic. Mm -hmm. It affects one emotions mm -hmm. and it, it can stay there for years. You're, you're, you've gone through it as a child and as an adult, you're still displaying signs of depression as a result of it. So it's a very traumatic event for many persons to talk about. Having gone through it, do not want to relive the situation because many persons, every time they talk about it, they are reliving the situation that yeah. they found themselves in. Absolutely, that's how trauma and, works, yeah. yeah and it, 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 it's across genders. Yes. And it's it across happens. genders. Yes. It, 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 domestic Both. violence, sexual violence has no gender. So mm. oftentimes we talk about it impacting women and girls, which because they are the vulnerable in society, we yes. pay a lot of attention to it. Mm -hmm. But oftentimes we don't pay attention to the mm. boys. The boys, mm. yes. Who yes. are sexually yes. assaulted. Mm -hmm. and uh, as, as children and, and have to live with that. Yeah. You know, when somebody touches you without mm -hmm. your consent, yes, mm -hmm. yes. it, 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 it's, 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 it's as if you have lost control of yeah. yourself. Mm -hmm. oh, that is what it is. And how do we address that situation when someone is, you're unable to ask either you're unwilling to or you're embarrassed. Yeah, there's uh, so uh, much shame around it. Yeah, you know, yeah. the stigma is, so is great. But also, who do they ask? Yeah. There are many organizations. Jamaica Constabulary Force is the primary law enforcement organization, and we deal with incidents. As a matter of fact, the Center for Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse is the primary arm of the JCF that looks at that. But it intertwines a lot with domestic violence, and so Sissoka mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and the DVI unit that falls within Community Safety and Security Branch actually work very close. So we have had persons who are visitors to the island and are sexually assaulted in hotels because they come and they hook up with some guy that they don't know. Mm -hmm. And that happens. We have children who are sexually assaulted by family members or even community members. And so it's important that persons know where to go and it's not a lack of information. It's a lack of person being open-minded about the fact that if I'm a victim of sexual assault, I really need to get help. Mm. There's no shame in it. The fact is, perpetrators oftentimes make the victim feel that like it's your fault. Mm -hmm. Well, what about in a case when, they feel, when you might fear retaliation? Um, and so you withdraw your statement. Maybe, maybe you've gone and you said, no, I am going to report this. I am going to try and get help. But then the fear of retaliation, you know, kind of creeps up in you and you say, you know what? I'm going to withdraw my statement. How do we encourage women to kind of go all the way? Um, for us, we, the beauty about Sissoka is there's a one-stop shop. The doctor is there, the counselor is there, the social worker is there. The investigators are one place. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to be running across agencies right, right. to hear your story. Many persons, depending on where they are from, are fearful of 
stigma. Right. Mm -hmm. And that is a major fear mm -hmm. and some amount of retaliation. Mm -hmm. Because when you talk about sexual violence, there's always manipulation. There's always intimidation. Mm -hmm. You see, if you tell somebody, right. if you tell anybody. And so yeah. the education begins in the home and yeah. in communities. And we, as a, as a country, have to open our mind for that person to understand that there's no shame yeah. in being a victim of these things. We have to start to train our boys to understand that they can't violate people's body right. and think mm -hmm. that is theirs. Mm -hmm. We have to teach our young ladies the same thing mm -hmm. because we have women who are doing the same thing. Right. Wow. And so, again, it begins with education within schools. It begins with education in the home. It begins with education in home community. Cause let me tell you something, domestic violence and sexual violence is not just in mm -mm. external of the churches. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It is happening within even our churches. Mm -hmm. So it's a collaborative approach to dealing with it. There are various organizations, the JCF is one, the Bureau of Gender Affairs, Sisoka, mm -hmm. and Sisoka comes under the JCF. So these are the help organizations, Sisoka, so we have Sisoka yes. that, that not only investigate, but they educate. So members of Sisoka can be invited to come and speak about sexual violence and what it is that persons ought to do, mm -hmm. where you go. Right. And there is Sisoka in every single parish. There's a Sisoka mm -hmm. unit in there. The same thing happens for domestic violence, which is right across the island and we put additional measures by instituting the domestic violence intervention centers. Mm -hmm. We have all churches that we work closely with that operates counseling centers. And um, we are very, very careful of the churches that we use because we know that mm -hmm. we have had incidents of persons going to church for help right. and, and are, are further yeah. violated. I know we're about to wrap, but I just wanted to know, somebody is watching today who might need to hear this today yes. and what would be your encouragement to them as next steps what what why should people speak out why should they go um and and, and really advocate for themselves and and you know and first number to oh, call exactly the police the stuff. best way to tackle domestic violence and sexual violence is to talk about it yeah so we're saying to them reach out to the local sisoka unit in the parishes reach out to sisoka headquarters that is located in kingston reach out to the domestic violence unit or the community safety and security branch units in all divisions, reach out to a pastor, reach out to a justice of the peace, somebody who you trust to talk about it and get the help because the help is there. And then there mm -hmm. is the victim support division that is right across Jamaica. People can ask for help. Yeah. You're wonderful. Thank you so yeah. much for being here today. You, you, you are a wealth of knowledge, but you also have this you make me feel calm. Yes. <laughs> Which is good. Which is what important. we need. Exactly, exactly. Because when, when, when they begin to speak, they want yeah, someone like you exactly. will hear. So thank you for care. all the amazing work that you're doing. And, you know, we really hope that we get to see this change in our lifetime for sure. Um, you for know, sure. That was Deputy Super Superintendent of Police Jacqueline Dillon. Um, we were so grateful to have you here with us this morning. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, yes. Don't move on the other side of the break. We have so much for you. Uh, I can't wait. Stick and stay. There's more. There's more to come. It's the Live to Give Jamaica Grocery Bag Drive. What is that? I can't wait to tell you more about it. Thank you so much.